Okay. Okay. I keep on losing power, so my lives keep on ending. I guess that's not a problem because I keep, uh, <laughs> I love to upload. Now I love like two uploads to make because now I love also to make a, another one hour one. Yeah. Let's see if like uh, the power doesn't get lost again. I have to start all over again. Anyway, I don't have anything planned, so I just start and then I figure shit out. <laughs> Another thing like uh, Richard Pryor talked about, like uh, you just start doing comedy and then you just figure out the rest. That that's how it happens when you are funny. Yeah, yeah, you can make anything funny. That's our problem I had. Um, I also feel like uh, oh, a laptop like uh, was a problem. Problem logging here. Yeah. I also feel like uh, there are specific things that are fine, <laughs> like big. Big gas, whatever. Okay, sex shit is funny and shit. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but I also limit myself to what things can be funny. What things can be funny? That kind of shit. Yeah. The last um, <laughs> the last uh, live I made a joke about like um, how people used to say like uh, Michelle Obama is a man. Maybe he just had a fat pussy, so yeah, <laughs> the pussy popped, oh, popped in the skirt, so people should think he has a dick. Yeah, all those conspiracies about like, uh... anyway, if you get into those like conspiracies, like you not live a life, bro. <laughs> the other day I talked about like uh, this guy called uh, this guy called so Illuminati. I was talking about like how the media is the president and uh, how Biden is a uh, CGI that he keeps on changing in interviews. Like whenever you see him, he keeps on changing. Okay, l l let me let me pull up his channel. Oh, let me hear some of the shit he talks about. I told you, I'm having deja vu at the moment. I I feel like uh, I once thought about doing something like this. Deja vu. Oh, talking about deja vu. I saw deja vu trending on Twitter the other day. I don't know what it meant. Uh, okay, okay. I think I'll figure out. I talk about like this bouncers what killed motherfuckers, what killed a motherfucker, what beaten the shit out of a motherfucker, and he died. And that's the other thing. Like uh, once you, uh, the other thing about uh, like having big muscles and shit. <laughs> Once you start having big muscles, like, uh, so I feel like you can beat anybody. Mm. Anyway, let me, let, let's hear, let's hear. <laughs> Here's a video on one load two. Let me hear what this motherfucker has to say, has to say. Two weeks ago. Let's see. Yeah. That's why I hate you, shit. Yeah, I hate YouTube, but I'm not gonna use that. What is it called? Brave, Brave Browser. I see them like keeping on advertising Brave Browser. Yeah, I guess you're counting five seconds to skip this ad. <laughs> yes, this motherfuckers are, are putting hiring, work like into this. Gorilla, so. We offer you seriously smart screening tests. Fuck, fuck the ads, but I guess. In America, it's way worse outside of the country and every other country. I've been telling y'all this. Half of America right now is sleep. They're they living in a root chakra. They at the lowest form of their self. They living in fear. The fruit broke them bro, the fuck down. This motherfucker is so fucking serious, bro. You become too serious with life. You're gonna die. You're gonna die young. I, this motherfucker's. I think this channel has over one point three million subscribers, but on his other channel called So Illuminati. He has over like two million subscribers. So there are people like listening to this shit, like taking this shit serious. Okay, whatever he's talking about, sometimes it makes sense. Like uh, what he just said there, like Americans are asleep or something. But we all know, we all know what is happening, but we just don't give a fuck. Okay, they acceptable for everything. They don't believe anything that comes on the media. The media control America. There is no government. These politicians that y'all see, most of these niggas is dead. Most of them is CGI. They're not, that's a, every time y'all see Biden, he gonna look different. There's a Biden I'm not joke. saying he's like, 
every time you see him, he don't look different. Yeah. I'm not saying he's a clone. Every. It's like him saying like uh, when Biden like fell and was climbing the stairs to the was it Air Force One or something? <laughs> that was a that like that was a glitch. Yeah, it was a glitch in the whatever CGI. So it's a, whatever, bro. Let's see what he's saying. Time to see him, he's gonna look different. I'm not saying he a demon. Every time you see him, he's gonna look different. Let me tell y'all this. The media is controlling America. There mm-hmm. is no government or politicians that's running shit in all this. The media. Okay, that one I kind of agree with. Like, uh, you see, like, how the media, like, uh, tells us, uh, like, uh, what to give a fuck to. <laughs> like, it's just funny. Like, there's a, there's a time, like, uh, there was, like, a, was it a tornado or something in, like, uh, how is it called? Haiti. Yeah. And it was all of the news, like, all celebrities were into that shit. Help Haiti, help Haiti. And then that shit happened another time. But now it was not that interesting. Not, so, not that many people died. Like, just 2,000 people died. <laughs> nobody gave a fuck. Like, nobody was... No news outlet not like was talking about that because it's not interesting. Like, just 2,000 people died. Yeah, who the fuck cares? Yeah? Anyway, let's listen. The media is the president. It's the media. So everybody was, y'all know I've been on YouTube fighting my wars, fighting my battles with these badass entertainers. A lot of shit that probably don't make sense to y'all make perfectly sense to the chosen ones spiritually. A lot of shit that's not visible don't make sense to you, but it makes perfectly sense to us spiritually. Mm-hmm. We've been talking about it for the past three years. Mm. This is a spiritual war. Yeah, right? Sure. So I've been all over YouTube and people on my spiritual channel been telling me, hey, so when are you going to come back and talk about the World War Three? Yeah. So just today I went and I started because I already seen it all on Twitter and stuff, but I just didn't attach my energy to it because I knew it was fake. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I see this nigga's expressions, bro. Uh. So I Maybe this is just entertainment, but there's people who subscribe to this shit. Yeah, who followed this thing religiously. Doing my research. Y'all know, I always... I remember him, like, talking about, like, uh, the 432 hertz versus, like, the 440 hertz. Yeah, they keep on talking about energy, the energy around you. Energy around you. I also, like, uh, was about to get into that shit. Like, uh, I, I was starting, like, to believe in the law of attraction. <laughs> that if you surround yourself with, like, positive energy... Yeah, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Yeah, I remember, like, uh, I used to, like, believe in that shit back in high school. So I surrounded myself with, like, positive energy. Yeah, when I was starting YouTube, my friends were telling me, like, uh, bro, you're up to something, you're up to something, you're gonna make it. <laughs> so I surrounded myself with positive energy, but I was not working. And I haven't made it. Two years now, I haven't made it. So you can surround yourself with as much en- positive energy as you want. But if you don't put in the work... <laughs> you're going nowhere, yeah. Like that can decline he said, like uh dreams only remain dreams unless work follows it. Or something of the sort. Let's hear, let's hear. Always tap into Russian servers. I take certain words and I put it in the translate and then I put it in I translate it to English so I can see what's going on. I take a lot of time out my day to really tap in. I'm going to leave mm-hmm. links in the description. I got live video footage in Ukraine of all these areas that they saying this war is going on. Nothing is happening. They, I'm going to post on my community. They showing y'all a news article, and it's just one. I caught a lot of them, but they be deleting a lot of stuff. When you start exposing them, because listen, they got a lot of botted accounts that be fake liking and retweeting certain tweets. It be, if you click and look at the retweets and the likes, it be fake accounts. They got botted accounts that push fake news articles and shit to the top and make it trend. Some of the news articles be from 2018, 2015. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show y'all they posted a news article about a fucking one bloody ass woman who posted that had got bombed pushing all this fear, but it was from 2018. Mm-hmm. And then when you expose them, they delete it. Preach, nigga. Now listen, <laughs> I already told y'all plenty of times about crisis actors. I already told y'all plenty of times about I see, I see why like people subscribe to this shit because if you listen to it, also myself, like I'm starting to being sucked into that, like, oh, really? If you think about it, like, it's true. <laughs> yeah, that's how, like, people end up, like, uh, subscribing to this shit. For me, I look at it and I see, like, entertainment. I see comedy. Yeah. 
Because this motherfucker like is fucking serious with facial expression. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, his articles are from 2018. <laughs> this motherfucker is serious with this shit. Let me ask you a real question. Why the if they lie to you about them? You see, like what did he, why did he stop cussing? Like why did he censor himself? Because YouTube, bro. <laughs> oh, why did he like? I was about to say like, what the fuck? Why the fuck? And then he said, why the this motherfucker is trying to get money. You're not here like to tell you the truth. He's just saying like what people sub- subscribe to. Okay, that was about like World War Three. Let's see. One month ago. Zombie war. Whatever, bro. And he's like dropping music. And then like... Also in the building, dude. Like also in his music, like uh, you see like... Uh, so spiritual, so... Drugs. It's a song called Drugs. And then he has like that... Uh, for 32 hearts. <laughs> shit like uh, that conspiracy and shit. I remember like X was also into this shit like the spiritual the spirituality shit. Um talking about that, like I remember there was a time I made a video on YouTube talking about like how Kenya is not the states. In Swahili it's like Kenya Sima Ju, it sounds way better in Swahili. And uh, I talked about like how things from the states like are trending in Kenya, like the trending the whole trending bit, the almost all the whole like trending page, YouTube trending page in Kenya, or, or things like from the states or music from the states. Yeah, I was talking about like how we should come back to Kenya and support Kenyan content. But one year later, I'm the one like uh, opposed like at the idea of doing comedy in Swahili. I don't like doing comedy in Swahili. I wanna do unentertainment motherfuckers. Ah, I know, I know. That's being a hypocrite. But when I, I made that video, one of my friends was talking about like. That's the world war, the new world order. That kind of shit. <sighs> new world order. What the fuck? Like at the moment, like the hottest music at the moment. Okay, it's rap, it's hip hop. But below that, I think it's like uh, the Afrobeats. So, what is that supposed to mean? That's the new world order from Africa? <laughs> yeah, the new world order from Africa. <laughs> it's good music, people are gonna like it. If it's horrible music, people are not gonna like it. Yeah. Louis Vuitton, uh, Gucci, all those brands that were not like made in the states. They all like uh, I think they're in Italy, or France. And they were the ones like running the world in terms of like what what, what people wear. Okay, the Supreme, whatever, the streetwear shit from like uh, the states and shit. But mostly, what people wanna wear is like Gucci. Where we turn? Okay, I guess Africans can't afford that. So it's Nike and she, yeah, those American brands. Bro. Okay, I don't know at point I'm trying to make, but the new world order. I just like uh, I told you, like if you get yourself into those conspiracy shit, you're gonna get lost. There was a time I was interested in that shit, and I, I was going to church to learn that. Like that's the only thing I went to church to do, to learn about these conspiracies. How there's some motherfuckers somewhere who don't want us to be rich. <laughs> yeah, and that's like uh, that's like giving yourself excuses not uh, for not for you not to work. Because when I was reading all that shit, talking about, I made a video talking about like why poor people exist. I was talking about like how the you are discussing with my friend back in high school. And my friend was talking about like how there needs to be poor people so the rich people uh, don't want poor people to be rich which is bullshit yeah most of the poor people are fucking lazy motherfuckers i'm i'm i promise you they're lazy motherfuckers the same way <laughs> i have an exam on tuesday and i'm here like making a live i know i know i'm gonna fail that shit uh, maybe i'll fail th- these exams and then get bad grades and um, i graduate with a mediocre or whatever probably not get a job and be broke so it's all on me I'm being a lazy motherfucker. I'm also trying to make this thing work. I'm trying to be a funny motherfucker. I'm trying to be a funny motherfucker so I get money from this shit. Let's see, let's see a zombie war. Oh, this, this motherfucker is fine. But let me tell you this. Before I talk about all that, I hope you've been taking time out for yourself. Treating yourself. You deserve the world. Mm-hmm. You deserve to be happy. You I'm deserve telling you what you want to hear. Everything you're looking for, you already have in yourself. Oh. 
I don't have anything like uh, uh okay. At the moment I don't own anything. These clothes yeah, my mama bought bought me all this shit. <laughs> the only thing I own at the moment is a big gig and a big dick. I made a video about that. I don't own that much, like all this other shit. Yeah, it's money for my parents or something. So I don't own any of this shit, so I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. You deserve everything you want. Yeah. Everything you're looking for, you already have in yourself. No. This is why I preach so much, and I've been doing it for two years on this oh, channel. So, oh, so, you're a preacher. Okay. Take little breaks in social media now. Mm hmm You get a chance to expose your ego. Mm hmm You get a chance to know your real self. Your real self probably don't even like doing most of the stuff that you be doing every day. Hmm. Your real self probably don't even like, like watching English. a lot of stuff that you be watching every day. You never know what your real self like until you tap in with your real self. Your real self have nothing to do with this. This motherfucker is telling you what you wanna hear. That's why people spread. Let me let me fast forward to the zombie Fucking part. God. Always grounding myself. It's a part of my daily schedule. Grounding myself. I don't give a fuck how cold. Uh, I had some shit. Hey. I don't know. Maybe maybe you should start reacting to shit. But, uh, but I wanna do comedy. I really wanna do comedy. No I'm in Arizona. Not reacting. Dude, I feel under the weather for one day. And all I do is go to the gym and come home. This was definitely what I was doing at this time because I just got done with Bro, this is a joke, bro. So fucking serious. But you using it. You know it's affecting you in some way. Hmm. It's affecting everything around you. Everything is attached to it. It's a frequency. You can't see that shit. It has nothing to do with these two eyes. Wow. The unknown. The wow. unseen. This coronavirus. It's a frequency vibrational thing. Everybody that's lower than a vibration. <laughs> all the <laughs> this motherfucker is saying like Corona is 5G. Takashi. All those people are saying like Corona is 5G. It's one of them. Like he's talking about Corona being a frequency. And you're one frequency lower than that shit. Like, <laughs> anyway, uh, let me move to the next video. Uh, and the people like listening to this shit and uh, they fucking believe it. I saw Kyrie. I, I, I'm seeing like we made a video about Kyrie. Kyrie was on, also into that shit. Like, was, was getting into that spiritual, spiritual shit. He refused to be vaccinated and shit. I guess what he's talking about like makes sense. I made a video about that, like talking about like ignorance, where people don't want to know shit. Where nowadays it's cool to be a dumb motherfucker, like nothing excites a nigga <laughs> than being dumb, like like not knowing shit. Nah. Like what is the capital city of like uh, Russia? I don't know, I don't know. Keeping it real, motherfucker. <laughs> Keeping it really dumb. Yeah, there's that ignorance shit. And one of the reasons, like, uh, there's corruption in Africa, and most of the African economies are, like, dying or something is because of ignorance. We don't give a fuck. Like, at the moment, I know the politicians. We all know the, what the politicians do. They're still in shit. But we don't give a fuck. Yeah? I started, like, uh, complaining about this shit because the price of bread increased. Like, if this shit was not... If the price of food would never have increased, like... Uh, I don't care. Yeah, but I guess now they're increasing the price of bread and also in decreasing the size of mandazis. So now, <laughs> now it's affecting me directly. So I love to complain about it. Guys, 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 Right now they said in China, it's an energy crisis. All in the UK has been protests and non-stop shit happening in the UK. Y'all heard what was happening over there in Africa. Right now in the United States, in, in Texas, y'all suffering from more floods, ain't y'all? Yet they got everybody focused on Kyrie. It's, it's starting to... Okay, man, I'll get a to this shit because this motherfucker is speaking facts. Dropping facts. Yeah. Maybe a minute and then I'll be like, oh, that makes sense, bro. That makes sense. Yeah. But but that's the shit. He's talking about, like, shit you want to hear. You want to hear that uh, you're not the problem. Like, um, everybody else is responsible for your problems. 
Yeah, that's what you wanna hear. Uh, you wanna hear people telling you that uh, you're not to blame, you're not to be blamed because of your laziness, you're not to blame for your poverty and shit. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, I'm seeing myself like being sucked into like reacting to shit. I don't know if that is what I should do. <laughs> Yeah, because I know that will get me money. That will get me money, bro. If I start reacting to shit, yeah, just like uh, use my phone as the camera and then react to shit on YouTube. I'm being a funny motherfucker. Energy, energy. That's all people need. Yeah. If I become a crazy motherfucker, shout, hit, hit. Ha, ha, ha. Act like a monkey. I know that is racist, but act like a monkey. Yeah, people want to see me. So subscribe to my shit. Because I'm crazy. But I wanna talk about smudgy. I wanna talk about smudgy. I don't know. I guess I should have continued doing that shit. <sighs> I'm seeing myself like doing the same shit I did last time. Last time there was a time I made a live and I was talking about like how I'm making these lives, but I have an exam tomorrow, so I don't give a fuck. Uh, anyway, the exam dropped us all, like, uh, everybody's complaining about, like, how the exam was hard. Maybe they were lying. Maybe they were lying, bro. I got a zero. Well, let's see. Let's see what will happen when uh, the results come. Hmm? I'm also going to do the same thing. Like, that's what is going to end up happening. Because I know I have an exam. I have a cut. Tuesday, but I don't feel like. Hmm? I used to think like I want to act best under pressure, but that's bullshit. Because I'll postpone shit. Like at the moment, I know I have two days. I had three days yesterday. I said yesterday. I, I don't know what was I doing. I was designing that no pussy, <laughs> no peace, no pussy T-shirt, and uh, I felt terrible. Like I was not able to like make it. Yeah, I wanna make different designs, not just like best. For a font on like t shirts and shit. So, yeah, I was making that shit. So, yesterday was over. Today, I've been lazy. I woke up, I think, at 12. Uh, I'm gonna do this shit maybe until 6. I'm hungry, uh, so I don't study until I'm fed. And then tomorrow, I wake up. Tomorrow is a Monday. I have a lesson the whole day, almost the whole day. So, I'll have like five hours to study. And then I'll get overwhelmed. I get. I know this is gonna happen, but I'm not doing anything towards it. Yeah, I get overwhelmed and stop reading because I thought I work best under pressure. But that's the other shit. That's the other shit. Like uh, I was listening to the story of Baby Kim. He was in high school. Like he was not paying attention, so he worked hard. He worked really hard. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Grinded, nigga. Grinded. And then music. And now he quit high school or uni. I don't know. I also think about the same thing. Maybe I should grind. I should grind and just not give a fuck about education. But this is Kenya, bro. This is Kenya. This is Kenya. Because the, the, uh, I told you about the story about like how I was asking advice from this guy who was doing YouTube. Who was doing the reacting shit. Reacting to Kenyan celebrity shit. And funny TikTok. He has over 108k subscribe. 8k, so yeah, for him like uh, he has something to fall back on. Okay, he's 40 something. He's he's fucking old. Anyway, and then there was a guy who told who said like, uh, bro, don't waste your life. Yeah, don't quit uni. But what what am I gonna do when I finish uni? Start looking for a job. Be fucking depressed every day I'm going to job and probably kill myself. Yeah, I don't know. But that's the thing about like uh nowadays because I do play basketball with some of the people like who have who are done with uni. Most of them are unemployed, so all they do is like this online writing shit, online transcription shit. I was also doing the same shit like a couple of weeks ago, but then it just hit me. Do I want to be a secretary? Because that is all you do. Like, type shit. Yeah, type shit. Hmm. 
That's all you do all the time. I don't want to be a secretary, and it sucks. You're just sitting there, hearing, like, uh, listening to horrible people, other to hearing, like, uh, listening to horrible, to people's horrible voices, donkey voices. Eh, I that joke. Uh, ass and talented. But, but that's what happens when you are not skilled and you're untalented. You have to do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As untalented people, we need to prove ourselves. We, no, you have it, have donkey voices. Sing like mosquitoes. Dance like mosquitoes. I forgot that shit. <sighs> I'm so good at math. I'm so good at I'm so good at writing. Okay. Another thing that is happening in Kenya is that uh, oh the mask shit, the mask shit has been lifted. And I had a couple jokes about like uh, when the mask shit was a thing, cause I remember like being bad from entering the school because I didn't have a mask. Yeah, I I just needed a mask like to get into the school because that's all I did. Like it was like a get pass kind of shit because I don't wear the mask until I get I get to the gate. Then when I eat first by the gate because of the watchman there, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when uh, you give people who have no power a little bit of power because they'll not let anyone pass through the gate without a mask. And that's a puny shit. We all know like there's no corona, be- but because they've given, they've been given that authority and shit. Now they wanna like uh, abuse, abuse people. Same thing with the police. I saw, okay, yesterday I saw, that's the thing about Kenya, yeah, in the States you can say, you have that right about, like, complaining shit on the media, saying shit about the police, fuck the police, fuck, <laughs> fuck the government, you can do that, you can open a whole YouTube channel, like, criticizing people, criticizing the government, criticizing the politicians, but in Kenya, <laughs> they're gonna look for you, they're gonna look for you, they're gonna, like, uh, look for you and beat the shit out of you, because yesterday I was watching this guy, I was reacting to his own video about like how he was talking shit to the police. And then he got arrested, bro. And he was beat it. <laughs> he was fucking the beat. He was beat the shit out of him. Bro, English sucks, bro. English sucks. Yeah. That's the thing I, I said about like I'm afraid to become famous off like trashing politicians in care. So I'm gonna say like uh, politicians fucking suck. They're boring. I hate them. I hate all of them. But I'm not gonna name call people because that's how niggas, niggas get killed. You know how many people have died in Kenya because of like uh, being against a politician? Especially like this news, whatever, news uh, reporters and shit. People are fucking, they're getting fucking killed because if you try to make an exp- uh, expose about the politicians, they'll fucking kill you and they'll forget about you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like that guy, I, I don't remember, I think I remember, I don't know, what was it called, Chris Musando, I don't know, I don't know if you know him. That nigga tried to be righteous, tried to be a good person. That's the other thing, like, when you get into something related to politics, just, just know your dignity, like, just do away with your dignity, like, uh, there's no dignity in that shit, because you get killed. There's no being a good person in that shit, because you get killed. So... This motherfucker refused to like, uh, 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 give them access because I think the system, the election systems uh, required the fingerprints. This motherfucker was being a hard-headed and was killed. Yeah, he, was, he got smoked. The family was there like crying and shit. Okay, I know that she's insensitive I'm trying to make fun of like somebody who died, but he tried to, act, he tried to be a good person and he got killed and they forget about him. Maybe his parents uh, family remember him, but forget about him. Forgot about him. And the motherfuckers who killed him became the president or whatever. Or maybe, I don't know. So I'm not going to call out people. I'm not going to call out people. I'm going to say shit. I'm going to talk shit. But I'm not going to call out people because they killed me. Why do you keep on repeating that? It means they don't have nothing to talk about. Oh, uh, the other things about like people being on the mean on the internet. Yeah, I remember making a video on that on YouTube also. I keep on plugging my YouTube, but it fucking sucks. 
it's, it's not as interesting like uh, as I as I um uh, it's not that interesting just because I plug it in all the time. But I made a video talking about like why people are mean on the internet. I said something, I, I was trying to make like put out points, oh it's fucking easy. Easier than being a nice guy on the internet. Which is true. Yeah. Why fucking support something? Like uh <clears throat> I remember like seeing this like uh, uh, I remember watching this music video. I don't remember I don't remember which which one it was. I remember watching it and scrolling down to the comments and uh, this motherfucker typed like uh, this is my best this is my favorite all the time. I listen to it every time. <laughs> and I saw another motherfucker like under that comment being like uh, oh you listen that you listen to it every day you listen instead of listening. I listen to it every day. Oh, you list, listen to it every day? Me being a, who I am, a mean motherfucker, and then type like, bro, I can't be told that. If I told that, I'd kill myself. Yeah. That, I know that was not that mean. That's why I joined Twitter. So nowadays, I'm, I'm trying to say mean shit. I know it will cost me in the future because let's say I make it. Let's say I get a job. Yeah, people try to pull out that shit. And I've already, I've already talked about it. I've already said it. People try to, like, um, even this shit. I saw a lot of shit on this, like, um, these lives. I know somebody in the future will pull out, make clips out of what I said in the past. And say, I am homophobic. Or I'm uh, transphobic. Or I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a racist. Okay. Just do it anyway. Yeah, I don't care that much. I hope in the future I'll not care that much about money and shit. Oh, talking about racist. I'm racism. I remember making a video on YouTube saying I'm a racist. And it was like sarcastic. I don't know how these motherfuckers were not able to get it. Yeah. I made a video saying like, I'm a racist. Like, I'm a racist. Like, down to my guts, I'm a fucking racist. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me play it. It was kind of funny. Like I was bombing. I was trying to be a funny motherfucker, but I was bombing. I remember I took inspiration from Patrice O'Neill. Why he was saying like he's a misogynist, like down to his guts, he's a misogynist. Like for him, he thinks like uh, men are better. Hmm? Let me let me play it. Oh, I guess I'll start reacting to she. Mm, she. Bro, my subscriber count is not increasing, bro. I guess I'm going to become your funny motherfucker. I'm a racist. I'm a racist. Like, for real, I'm a fucking racist. Like, down to my guts, I'm a fucking racist. I'm a fucking racist due to the simple fact that uh, we don't like something that looks different from us, yeah? And you know, some of you might be like, but I like little, I like little, I like the big cookie, I like the big cookie. No, you don't like it. <laughs> I'll probably not laugh at that shit. That shit is funny, bro, unless my <laughs> sense of humor is whatever. Hmm. And you know, some of you might be like, but I like little, I like little. I like the big cocks and shit. I like the big cocks. No, you don't like us like that. I know some of you are like, uh, yeah, tell this African kid nobody cares about his opinions and shit. So tell him to fuck off YouTube. Tell him go plant cookies for us. Yeah, like, go be a warrior. Like, where's your spear, bro? Where's your spear? Where's your bow and arrow, bro? Go be a hunter or something. Yeah? And, uh... <laughs> Ah, bro, that shit is fine. That shit is fine. That shit is fine. It's not like I hate white people, cause um, I do listen to a lot of white folks. Like oh. uh, I've subscribed to so many white folks. Yeah, I listen to so mm. many white folks. I just don't like your whiteness. I just don't like your whiteness. And um, some people say that black people can't be racist, but I'm a fucking racist. Like, don't make out of a fucking racist. And I watched this video the other day, no, no, I read it's a commercial. Yeah, and they're uh, advertising like sunscreens, like black people. Yeah, she was uh, advertising sunscreens. It's funny, but you can feel it's racist, because this guy, 
like applies the sunscreen on his hand, rubs the hand. Instead of applying it on his body, he applies it on his feet. Yeah, you get it because this is the only part, part of a black man that is white. You could feel that he's racist, but white folks can't say. Yeah, can't people white people can't complain that you are fucking racist. That was racist. Yeah, like white people are afraid to point it out. And due to that simple fact, I'm a fucking racist. I don't know, the future somebody <clears throat> pick that clip. Maybe when I make it, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it. <clears throat> we'll take a clip from here where I'll say I'm a fucking racist. I hate white people. Yeah. Anyway, a black man, I, I don't know. I don't feel like a black man can be racist because they're the ones who oppressed us. They're the ones who enslaved us and that kind of shit. I know that's not funny, but that shit was funny. Okay, in the last part I was telling a story about like how I keep on seeing like this like uh, advert on TV where they're advertising like sunscreen. This motherfucker puts the sunscreen on the hand, rubs it, but instead of applying it because he's black, applying it on his body, he applies it on the feet like uh, <laughs> because that's the only part of a black man that is white. Bro, that was fucking genius, bro. I'm so good. I was so good. I don't know what happened. I was so good at writing shit. What the fuck happened to me? I guess I'm becoming dumb. I don't know. What was I listening to? That I <coughs> was able to make this shit. If I made like a hundred or two hundred, three hundred videos like this, like that smart, bro, I don't know. I'll be somewhere. I'll be somewhere, bro. Like I'm a fucking racist. Which is true. I'm talking facts. And I remember like there were some people who were fucking mad at what I was saying. <clears throat> yes, you can. Everyone should be proud of their press. Yeah. Mm, is to love. Like a pianist love the piano. Everyone should love their... Oh, fuck that shit. <laughs> How come we are preaching a tree because... Yeah. This motherfucker was trying to teach me about racism and shit. Hmm? I'm a racist. Like for real. <laughs> Yeah, yes, you can. Everyone should be proud of their rest and shit. Everyone should love their rest. Like, just like a pianist loves the piano. <laughs> ah, these are fucking nerds on the internet. These are, I'm sure these are people who fucking preach to people in school. So, uh, they, they, they think they can come and preach to people from the internet. Europeans are not afraid to point out anything about people like you. Oh, oh, you're not afraid? You know, the Europeans are the ones like who fucking colonized Africa. Anyway, I told you I'm not mad at them. I'm not like mad at white people because uh, that they colonized us. Hmm? Because if it were not for them, I will be wearing this shit. I'll probably be wearing fucking skin, eh? animal skin. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, which is this tribe? Is it this tribe like, uh, which like, uh, puts on like, uh, as it called? The thong or punches, where only the, the balls and the dick is the one covered. And then, like a small casting, <laughs> once it through the part of the shit and then ties the shit. It's like a bikini, yeah? it's like they're wearing bikinis, and that's all they put on. Yeah, and even women, like, uh, they put on, I think that's almost the same shit, like a mini skirt, mini dress, and then they leave the titties out. <laughs> I'll be like that if, like, we are not colonized, so. I'm fucking thankful for the white people for colonizing us. Yeah, I'll not be using tissue, bro. Yeah, I'll not have Yeezys, bro. I know they're fake, but anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful, bro. Yeah. I'll not have Wi Fi if white people do not colonize us. I'll be a lazy motherfucker. I'll be in the bushes eating guavas, probably guavas, or like uh, eating from trees. Yeah. Something of this stuff. So I'm thank I'm thankful. Anyway, I wanna make edgy edgy content like this. But it's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute since I last I came up with some dope shit like that. Maybe it's because I've been consuming dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
why this mom considered changing her daughter's name? I guess you can change your name. I never knew that. I've also like uh, wanted. I remember my brother like being mad at my mom because there was a time like we changed our names. Like I, I was not born called El- being called Elijah or something. Yeah, I was called Collins, which is what I'm trying to use over here, like real Collins. Yep. And my mom changed our names at a certain point. I remember like my brother was mad at her at one point saying like, I want my own my old name. Yeah. He was talking about something. He was called something like Albright, something like that. Then my mom like called him Boaz. So he was talking about like how his name was making him lazy. <laughs> he feels like a boss. It feels like a boss because it's Boaz, Boaz, boss. Makes him feel like a boss. <laughs> yeah, so it made him like feel like he was lazy, Akashi. I know, I, I want to be called Collins or something, but anyway. The damage has already been done. I'm called Elijah. Elijah. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Like when people hear like uh, I'm called Elijah, expect me to be a good motherfucker. <laughs> Expect me to be a good person because uh, who was Elijah? Elijah was a was a prophet. Akashi. And people in high school and primary school had jokes about that, like Elijah the prophet. Yeah. And the fuck is uh yeah. 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 The other day I'm, I complained about my child. I promise you these motherfuckers must be doing something. Like these Tanzanian motherfuckers. Huh? That's the other thing I I, I talked about. Like uh, we Kenyans pay much attention about what is happening in Tan- not what is happening. Like we care so much about Tanzanian music. Yeah. But they don't care about us. They don't care about our music. Because hmm? I see how the, the moment like Diamond is number two trending in Kenya. And the fucking lyric Lil- Lil- videos. 1.3 million I think he dropped an album. But I guess this motherf- this motherfucker pays for ads. Uh, and that's one the other thing I realized. So you might think like, oh, he has so many fans. People like his music. But he's paying for, for ads. So listen to this shit. I talked about like uh, how Bahachi. I uh, know, you, you don't care about him. I also don't care. I made a song about Draila. Which I felt was kind of dumb. I don't like uh, I didn't like the music shit. But it, people are talking about like how he nest he nest a million a million can shillings from these politicians by making something they liked. Anyway, the mask. Yeah, everybody has a mask joke now. Yeah, Kenyans after the mask cancellation and shit. Myself I stopped wearing masks like a long time ago. But I told you, I'll just wear a mask to pass by the gate. So that I'm not arrested or something. Yeah. So what about the people talking about like uh, Corona being 5G? <laughs> hmm. Well, that's the other thing uh, about like Kenya. We don't have our own minds. Like uh, we just do what the states did. Yeah. Obviously, America has vac- vaccinated uh, almost like uh, everybody, apart from the um, assholes who thought like um, 5G was like. Okay, who thought like, uh, I think the same motherfuckers who thought like Corona was 5G. Now I think about like uh, uh, the vaccine being the mark of the beast. That's the other thing. I told you, if you feed yourself with bullshit, <laughs> you won't even realize like what you're saying. Like a vaccine is the mark of the beast. Like, I'm hearing you, sir. Do you know what you're saying? Look at she. So. The state vaccinated uh, whatever, their citizens and shit. That's why they lifted the mask shit. In Kenya, I don't know, maybe a million people are vaccinated. <laughs> and by like uh, the, what's it called? Uh, the donated vaccines. So maybe they were just like, uh, mm, what's it called? Mm, what's it called? Vaccines that, huh? I don't know. I don't want to come up with conspiracies about vaccines anyway. I 
it's all it's all about like these dumb politicians with their like uh, I don't know. It's all about the dumb politicians, Ukraine, Russia, football. And you see, like that's the other thing I, I talked about, like people are fucking ignorant. Because see what is trending in Kenya is all about like uh, it's all about uh Nobody cares. Yeah, like everybody sucked into like uh, politics. Sucked into politics. Football, because I've seen like five, ten videos about football. <laughs> yeah, the moment these motherfuckers wake up. Mm, that's why I stopped like, uh, I, I remember I was, a, I was a big fan of football when I was little. I remember like buying, how's it called? Calendars, charts, uh, uh, like where... Um, these athletes had been printed. I was a big Man City fan. Hey, Man City fan. Yeah. When I reached a point, I, I realized, like, uh, I, I'm fucking wasting my time. Like, what the fuck am I to support? Even now, I, I told you I play basketball. I like playing basketball. But I don't watch all the basketball basketball games. I don't sit somewhere to talk about basketball. And who's going to win the championship? And who's going to make, make it to the playoffs? Because I just feel like I'm wasting my life. Yeah. Because I think there are games every day, so if I'm gonna watch games, I'm gonna waste my time. Uh, maybe that's why I'm terrible at basketball because I, I don't know anything else. <laughs> yeah, I know how to play individually by myself, I don't know how to play with the team. And I saw that is the problem I had. Like, people are complaining about that shit. I don't know how to pass, I don't know. I just know how to dribble the ball and run to the hoop and get blocked most of the time, get pinned. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I'm afraid to get pinned, so I fucking throw air balls and try to make like uh, floaters which suck, which don't get in. Kind of shit. So most of the time I'm benched. Maybe that is one of the reasons. And this Nigerian motherfucker keeps on trending in Kenya. Like, one million views. What is it called? Some speedy. Yeah, kind of shit. I told you, Kenyans, we don't support our own shit. I don't know how, cause this motherfucker, if this motherfucker made like um, his content in in, in uh, how do you call? Is from Nigeria, in Nigeria. Only like two uh, hundred k Nigerians will watch his shit. But now he made it in English. Now the whole world, okay, in Kenya I'm sure it's dumb, some dumb women, yeah, some dumb women, uh, <laughs> yeah. And few kids from Africa and some like village minded whatever motherfuckers the ones see this shit and they're like ha ha funny yeah. I don't know but this motherfucker is getting money like 1.4 million views and in Kenya okay it's not from Kenya it's from Nigeria but 1.4 million views because this motherfucker I'm sure let me see this channel I'm sure he get he clocks like over a million views on all his videos two point Three million subscribers, bro. I guess I should start entertaining. No video less than or less than one million. Less than less than one point five m. And his content sucks. That's the thing I talked about, like uh, dressing like women nowadays. It's uh, it's something that is appealing to people. Because yeah, I know most of the fans for this motherfucker are women. Hmm. Most of the fans over here are women. That's the thing. That's the red flag. The moment you realize women like your shit, then know you are lost, motherfucker. That's what I see. I told you about like uh, that thing about dressing like women being a thing. Mm. Now everybody's trying to act like how women behave, like uh, wearing dresses, doing the. How's it called? Get down and get high. That Beyonce challenge. That's why I quit TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember this meme. This this meme I keep on seeing like uh, how okay, about like how shrimps are born male and then they slowly transform into female. Like all shrimps are born yeah, are born like male and then they slowly transform into female. Somebody was talking about like the same as like uh, men who join TikTok. Yeah, because you get into the pressure. 
pressure to act like a woman because that is what most bitches like. They like seeing you, <laughs> they like seeing men talk. So the moment a bitch is gonna be, uh, you notice like bitches, um, most of your fans, a larger percentage of your fan base, then you realize you're fucking lost. You're fucking lost. Okay, this motherfucker wants to join the live with me. Yo. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, so this is the same motherfucker. <laughs> it's the same motherfucker who joined my live the last time. And he left. This the motherfucker who joined my live the la- my live last time. <laughs> I made fun of his name and that and he went and changed it. <laughs> I guess. Anyway. Just left the life. The life. I think he's a bitch. He's afraid to talk. Join the live and let's talk. Let's say, let's hear what you have to say. Let's hear what you have to say. All right. Just made me lose my my flow. What was I talking about? Two hundred and ten. Ten minutes to go. Ten minutes to go. <laughs> I remember when I was starting. I, I, I used to feel like um, try to do comedy in English is like selling out or something. Hmm. Akashi. Something about being a sellout. I feel like a sellout. Trying to do comedy in English, but then I was like, all they do is talk about Messi. <laughs> anyway, I, 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 I joke. Oh. Nobody's talking about, nobody in Kenya is fucking sitting down like discussing Kenyan footballers. <laughs> so there's no way a girl called me a sellout, me trying to entertain white people when all your content, like nobody, I'm sure nobody in Kenya watches Kenyan like, uh, Nobody in Kenya watches Kenyan movies because they fucking suck. Yeah? But when it comes to comedy, people are going to tell me like, uh, oh, comedy done in English. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay, I know Kenyans will not get the jokes when I pass the gym, but that's the thing I was talking about. The way the South Africans like started speaking more English, I know the white people there, that's why they speak more English. The same way the South Africans are kind of getting like uh, Swahili joke. Uh, not Swahili, but uh, getting English joke. The same thing will happen in Kenya if you just accept. Because huh? nobody's talking about like Kenyan footballers, I'm sure. No, nobody sits down and talks about, how's it called, this thing? Gormaya or like uh, Tasca FC. Nobody sits down and talks about that shit. <laughs> yeah, all the dishes are. are, are well, I see, like, the status uh, talking about, like, euphoria. Is that shit from Kenya? Is it in Swahili? Yes, Shai. Tell me in English. Yeah. Mm. So all our entertainment is in English. Most of it. Even music. Most of the Kenyans don't, don't listen to Kenyan music. Most of them. Because if you go and look at, like, um, I don't know. I, I told you, like most of Kenyans who listen to Swahili music, listen to the Swahili music, music, listen to Swahili music from Tanzania. Actually, sports, why not talk about why we, we, we are more UK than Kenya? I know more UK about the US and UK than Kenya. I never thought about that. Really, like. I know more about the U.S. than <laughs> I know more the uh, more about the U.S. than care. Okay, I had a joke about like uh, I know the mayor of New York. Maybe, maybe not in that. I don't know. I don't know who's the mayor of New York. 
But that was supposed to be a joke. Yeah. Nobody can tell me shit. And that means nobody's going to listen to me. Okay. The problem is being, even being famous in care or being a funny motherfucker in care is that you can still end up being broke because there is no money. There's no money. Yeah, I don't know one rich, one rich comedian in care. Yeah, like uh, one rich motherfucker who doesn't have to like be all over the place to get money. Hmm? Something like, uh, I'll say, this one here. Dev Chappelle. Like somebody you can say, oh, this is the Dev Chappelle of Ken. I haven't seen anyone from Ken. Someone who is fucking funny. To a point that, uh, yeah, he gets a 50 million contract. Not even a million. I'm sure there's no comedian in Kenya who's given a 1 million contract by anybody. You just get paid for to host a party, to host a show, and that's all. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm being a sellout, but I'm trying to be a funny. I know it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard um, for me to become as funny as the Kenya comedians. If I'm going to like compete with them for the same audience, if I'm going to compete as them, as much as them, it's going to be hard. But maybe, maybe. Maybe some white mother. I told you I'm trying to entertain white motherfuckers. I'm trying to entertain white people. Maybe a white person will spot my videos on YouTube and be like, bro, I think you're talented, bro. I think you're talented. <laughs> you should come and uh, act in a movie. You should come and perform in the sex. Yeah. Because I've, I've seen a couple of people. I talked about Elsa Majil. White people like this her shit. I know she's a girl. She's a girl. The feminist shit. Yeah. Women support each other, but boy child, I can't be a fucking mediocre. I can't I can't be like making those dumb jokes. I expect to I expect to be like uh for white people be like, yeah, this motherfucker is funny. Yeah. yeah, I told you the best career move somebody can make is be gay or die. Or being born, like that's the other thing I, I, I talked about, like, um, I've never talked about it, but this is the second time I've, I've ever thought about, like, what if I was born a bitch, I was born a girl. Because hmm? when a girl does anything mediocre, everybody's like, yay, support her, support her, support her, support women. Yeah. yeah. The other time is when, like, uh, I missed a cut and the lecturer didn't you know, want to talk to me. But when I'm a bitch, I'm a bitch. I'm going to call her a bitch, I call her a bitch because I was fucking pissed off by the fact that I tried to convince this motherfucker. I missed a cut, I'd overslept, I know my problem, but I tried to explain to this motherfucker why I was fucking, I missed the cut. He should not listen to me. But when this bitch wanted to talk to him, he accepted. At first I thought like, uh, okay, somebody must have gave up pussy for us to be doing this shit, but it turns out she just talked to her. Like she, she didn't do anything else. Okay, maybe she was she was some sexy shit, but apart from that, she, she just talked. Hmm? I remember her explaining to me like, uh, uh, okay, it's that she, I don't know. You know I don't want to create enemies. I don't want that bitch to hate me. I know in the future. In the future, if I become famous, people start trolling me. They start trolling me. Start calling all ghosts that I told I said previously. Okay, let, let me talk about that. It's that this lecturer had that it was a female vo voice talking. Yeah, and then now he stopped in his voice. It's soft in his voice, like, why didn't you tell me earlier that you missed the car? That's the thing I talked about, like, men becoming pussies because we had all missed the cut. We should, be not, should have been angry at all of us, but because it's a bitch. 
I guess you had to be softer. Ah, uh, that's the other shit. Ah, uh, I, I remember. I'm a meeting one. Of, okay, well, there's this friend of mine we play basketball with. So there's a day I met him. Or well, this bitch, maybe I don't know if it is this bitch, but but I see him like posting her all over the place. So I remember like meeting them. There are him and his friend, and then his bitch. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, man, fist bumps, oh, oh, hard fist bumps. <laughs> and then I opened my, hmm? then the the girl was like trying to fist bump, I can't see. So I opened my hand and then visited her. Yeah. I don't know. That was supposed to be funny. I don't know. It's over a minute. Over an hour. Oh, not over a minute. Bro. Sometimes I talk too much until I become... I don't know. I, talk, I just talk too much. Until I get confused. So that's it. Over a minute and one minute. So over an hour and one minute. So that's all I had to do for today. I hope this was a little bit entertaining than the last ones I've been doing. Maybe I should start reacting more to things. But I don't think a life that is the best, that's the best, that's the best, like, uh, thing to do on lives because you motherfuckers, okay, you love to go and look for those videos if you're watching. Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to explain, so that's it. Thanks. Well, thanks for watching. I know I'm 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 the longer I watch till the place so anyway. You Hmm. Hmm.